guess who insisted on another episode? Brett Michaels, number one fan, because nothing says class like a Jeep's outlaw cowboy wig, taxi motorcycle, crazy girl trying to get a date with me and then go away. Won my hat playing darts at the fair. Last night I had to say goodbye to Magdalena, but it just helps. <laughs> like I barely remember the girls. I know, who cares? The girls I got with me, they're stepping their game up. Finally we got sleep. But on the other hand, some of these girls I gotta admit, they're gonna need a little help. For example, Mia's still kind of in the background. I don't remember her ever, usually. It's always... Oh, I have to be reminded of her. Yeah, every time. So while I'm away, I got something very... Which could be a good thing if that's what you're looking for in life. You don't necessarily want another rock star, you know, pole dancing, crazy uh, chick. But I have a feeling that he does. Oh, yeah. That's for real. I want Lacey just gone. She's a malicious, manipulative bitch. You don't... Come on, that was days ago. <laughs> that was less than 100 hours ago. <laughs> It's still fresh. In their bags and going home. Girls, got a note. Wee! Come here. Read it, read it, read it. What's going on, my sexy six? Sorry, I can't be there to love on you chicks. Better get ready. And they really make it easy to read. Yeah. Camera and strike a pose. Yeah. That's like take five. She kept messing it up. She had to read it over and over. Yeah. I do a lot of modeling for my friends who are photographers. So I think I got this one. Modeling today, girls. Yes. That's what it sounds yeah. like. Okay. We were Gotta say, I do miss the crazy. I miss a lot of crazy interactions. Car, which caught my eye. And a bunch of A car? I'm excited. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you guys doing? Cool. I'm an old friend of Brett's. Betty's not. I'm also a professional photographer. What we're gonna just... I'm the guy that agreed to do this show for the set amount of money. I'm the musician in the house, and one thing I know is album covers. I've got this. Ugh. One they thing... made her say that. One thing she knows is album covers. <laughs> right. But Lacey, this is going to be hell. Brandy, Heather, Mia, you're the second team. By this point, I am so frustrated. I keep losing these challenges. I can't get a single date with them. I can't get a double date with them. Have you been here? the whole time? Now one of you is creative director and two are models. The creative director gets a solo date with Brett and the two models get a tandem date with Brett. He wants you to show what best represents him, how to take his brand to the next level. You have one. <laughs> and then one Quit the show. Get started. Yeah. Evo tells us that we It would immediately start repairing your career better. Yeah, and I love how they just cut to the girls just explaining what the guy just explained in order to just eat up time on see, the that's, show. See, that's how Kyle talks to you about what <laughs> how he does it. So what Chris is trying to explain to you guys is that I explained something and then he explained it. You know, when Kyle talked about explaining <laughs> what I explained, about how they explained, it made me feel, you know, Confused. I really wanted to be creative. You know, I was mad at the girls for not knowing what car that was, yep. and then I was trying to pin down for myself what year Camaro that was, and like, sure, I know it's a Camaro, but is it 67, 68, or 69? Um, and I don't know. I'm on this challenge, and right off the bat, Heather's like, I know it's not a 70. Gotta cut you. And throws her idea out there, and that's what she I know it's not a 66, because there was no 66 Camaro. Of course. Right, everyone, everyone knows that. Hey, get off the car, you're gonna scratch it. I knew it was some kind of blue. <laughs> it's blue. And dominatrix. How about maybe like deviant and stuff like that? I definitely think it should be like a dominatrix submissive thing. I had a friend who had an album named called Sex Reflex, but obviously it's already taken, but Ugh. tell us what to do and it's just, it's not really working. Wow, well, I don't care what they're saying. I wish this was motorcycles. Why? Because um, that was way more, I wish it was motorcycles or football. They look like little kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bumble! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Perfect for the devil. Because watching them I see. like live out their fantasy of being a model for Brett Michaels and all of this. And he's not I, even here? Right. Yeah. Woman, and I think that she... Yeah, let's jump ahead. Why is she doing her hair like this? Ooh. <sighs> 
Why? And Lacey starts. It's okay. She knows album covers. Always. Is there any way to do a bird's eye view at all? No. Do you see a ladder? Do you see a crane? And pull them up like you're frightened. It doesn't hurt to ask. Or something. Should I do like a caressing her face kind of a thing? So it seems like. Uh for about 10 minutes until Lacey started disagreeing with the shot and kept saying, how about this? How about this? Oh, okay, Lacey, shut the fuck up. 45 minutes, ladies. Okay. Well, I took a peek at the other team. They were doing <laughs> What? <laughs> reaction to that was... I like that way better, but I'm a guy. Like, I'm not... <laughs> Come on. Is she Hobo Brett from okay, the future? That's funnier, I guess. It's hobo <laughs> Brett from the future. No, because I don't. I'm not. Oh, from the future. Yeah, so one of them is just a porn shoot. That's got. Yeah. Then she would be fired. I think the one on the left is more dramatic too. Definitely the one on the left. I'm making an executive decision. One on the left. I don't know that you can actually do that, but yeah. there's one photo that I really, really like, and then there's another photo that she likes. I guess you're on ten minutes. And that looks I know, like I get, an I get, I get artistic. I'm saying I'm taking. Uh, yeah. She doesn't work well with other people. She was pissed that she couldn't tell people what to do. No, 3493. You do? Yeah. That's that's like I'm just looking at that computer keyboard and thinking about how old that is. I'm the star of this. Like, I remember, like, PC bundles that came with that key keyboard, and I'm like, oh. It was nice. Yeah, no, it was nice back then. Look, this is silver, and this is silver. Right. Nobody wants that. We have one hour to shoot, total. One hour goes by very quickly. Yeah. I think you can go back as far as like this. I'm gonna, the first one I wanna do like this. During the photo shoot, Mia's trying to have control, but Heather is. So regardless of what order that you know these shows appear, just we're, we watched the uh, the greatest event in uh, television history. Mm -hmm. and we were talking about like remember behind the scenes and how you know really it does get like that, but yeah. you have really funny actors and they're kind of playing into it. So it's funny. This is closer to the reality of it, where they're kind of. Everyone's not really that talented and has opinions about stuff. They not, doesn't really matter. It's more about their ego. And they're making comments that are outside of their job position. <laughs> right. The creative director <laughs> directs creatively. That's the creative director's job. Your job as a model is to shut up and do what I say. Period. And if you don't do that, you're fired and I'll get somebody else. Right. Not letting that happen. Me but because they're all on the same like level, <laughs> They all think that they can just chime in. She doesn't want to listen to me. She just wants to do her own thing. Okay. Okay. Put you in the wind, baby. So just do that and cut her out of the shop. I'm to the point where I'm not even listening to her. I'm doing my own. Show just the car. Sells, damn it. And plus, Brett will love it. Okay, 15 minutes, late. If I rented them that car, I'd be pissed off that she's sitting on the Sitting on it, yeah. yeah. Gonna crack anything yeah, on get there. The get off my car. Stopping Evo to like take a look. I mean, we're on we're on a time clock here. It's like, come on. Yeah, I like that. Uh, edit usually takes longer than the shoot. Kind of looked off. At Why would I want a cool girl with a gray mustache on? Why would? Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. Oh. She is not there for love. She doesn't care how she's portrayed. Ugh. It's fantastic to hang out with like as a buddy. <laughs> Look at her. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> How long this takes? Selecting the photograph was more drama than I expected. Oh, no, I don't like face. it either. There's no point in rotating. need to rotate the shit that sucks. It's time to pick our photo, and Heather takes charge again. You know, oh, three, four, five, oh. Cool. Three, four, five, oh. Fuck. Yeah, this is where Mia completely is gonna again fall away. Right. Like as the creative director, you say shut up, and I'm gonna. This is what we're doing. Right. Ninety seconds. Right. <laughs> so I got that's fine. Move on. Yep. Brett doesn't care about any of this. Right. Don't sweat. Don't sweat. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Let's pick the fucking picture. We gotta get a background. I'm extremely frustrated. I want to get control of this situation, but it's so hard with Heather around. Everything I was saying has been shot down. Which one? Yes. This one. Okay. Thank you very much. Sweetie. Greatest moment in television history. Yeah, with a fake countdown clock that has nothing to do with the actual show. Final photo, and I just can't wait to see what Evo does to spice it up a little bit. I'm gonna win this for sure. Spice it up? You mean save the whole thing so he doesn't right. look like a clown? <laughs> His first phone call after they leave, Brett, I'm so sorry, man. I really... <laughs> He's like, about what? <laughs> All right. The show you're on, what? Oh, I forgot about that show. <laughs> I'm not banging who is. Jess didn't do anything as creative director. 
Did you guys argue at all or get along? Clutch my grip on right. her. Okay, so this is another reason why we were talking about maybe doing longer form stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, I just don't want to sit through a lot of this, so I, I would have to jump ahead. It's hard to sit through this because instead of a lot of them is rehashing it, reusing it, extending out the episode, and some of it is drama that I don't care about. And it's, yeah, it's reusing stuff. Like when Kyle said it's re reusing stuff. Right, and it's reusing stuff even more, like, because then they cut to the other person and the, they're saying the same thing that the person before them said, and then they're saying it again in order to say it more. Because when Kyle said that, like, that made me feel a kind of way. So when Chris is talking about how he's feeling, it's making me feeling a way that uh, I don't appreciate. We can keep doing this all day because we don't care. We don't even right. Listen to when he said right, e everything that they said while we were bullshitting over here <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we could do a live show. You guys would love that, right? You love when we talk over the uh, video. Yeah, talk over the video. Okay. This is 40 minutes long and Brett hasn't been anywhere in this episode. He is I need Brett Michaels. Just if you're really here for love, wouldn't you be kind of wanting to see Brett Michaels at some point? After coming back from the studio, I was really excited. Oh, so he's gonna decide and then they're gonna go on the dates. Yes. Okay, well that'll be more interesting. The least amount of work he can do, he's right. doing. I wanted to find out what these girls thought of where my career should be. Lady Steelers Bye. fan, that's okay. Brett's gonna be judging right after your pitch. So I believe it's Mia. Yeah, let's go with right. Mia first. Let's okay. see it. <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I look over and I see I feel, <laughs> I feel so much better about my thumbnails. Like I'm not Dude. a I'm not an artist, so like I just I rely on AI and stuff, but I feel so much better about my thumbnails. I know Chris likes to downplay his thumbnails, but Chris makes all the thumbnails for the channel. I think they're really good. Great. But Brett Michaels doesn't look impressed. <laughs> That's how I look at my thumbnails. He looks homicidal. <laughs> this is the best you could do? Fine, put it out there. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's on the thumbnail. I know. Were you trying to say that Brett's getting old with like no. the gray hair? Yes, it's what? Brett. It's Brett from the future. Get that. What? It's Brett from next week. That's all hair dye. Female prop. Um. Um. A world without hair dye. Right now, Mia is definitely sitting on the hot seat. Him, he and Corey Feldman, they're screwed. Yeah. Album or we decided it was gonna be called Broken Road. Our title signifies when you feel that things in your life can't be fixed and you really feel that you've hit time low. Why isn't the road broken? The colors pop. I, I, it, it, it. That's it. <laughs> so, if Brett Michaels, the steam is actually going up in my eyes because he has a bit of an eye for art and he's like, this ain't art. Yeah, he's finally judging them on the content of their character. Right. And uh, it's caca. It's uh, not good. You have an amazing car. If you could put a background, not don't include your face because we don't know you. How about you are both looking into the car and the camera's behind uh, you guys and the hood's up and there's something coming out and you're like looking for, um, you know, you're a damsel in distress with your legs out and stuff. How about that? That's up his alley. But right. no, you have to show your face, right? And you have to, it has to See, be an old man face. Chris has done this before, for real. <laughs> show as little of the people as possible in order to make it more likable. <laughs> Why do you think don't you zoom out on, so far from us? Don't put on a gray Fu Manchu and be like, hey everybody, I'm Brett Michaels. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not supposed to be an old fat Brett. <laughs> I'm young, fat bread. <laughs> Straddling the hood of the car. I think the concept of what she was trying to do <laughs> probably better had that been a guy standing there kind of broken down, you know, grease all over him, working on his car with two beautiful girls. For God's sakes, the hottest looking thing in this, in this album cover is the fucking car. Now, Mia, uh, ultimately, you were the creative director. You're in the hot seat. You're, you know, it's your. They call that a fall person in the music business. Right. Every big company has them, and you would be the fall person. Wait, who's the fall person between us? It's me. Moving along. Oh thank God, this is all Kyle's fault. All right, all right. The title of our album is. I hate to say that it's better. It is. Yeah. At least there's a black background. It's directing your eye. The red 
directs you toward the center. Just revealed her cover. I was like, wow, this is hot. A little girl on girl. Yeah, I wouldn't say hot, but um, ow. Now that's what I'm. Talking. In fact, okay, so my creative juices get flowing, and it, I don't need to like Lacey. I don't need to like any of that stuff. But she has a really good look, and you could just zoom in right on her eyes. Mm -hmm. Like you could just have a shot of her eyes staring at you, like right. seductively, but kind of angry, and that could s say so much more. Maybe in the reflection, you have Brett or something like that. Right. Anyway. Obviously, you guys are hot. I'm putting way too much effort into. <laughs> right. But the originality. Well, you're not a bubble-headed model that wants to date Brett Michaels. You're a creative professional. Yes, I, I cannot get by on any form of looks. No. Or I would. Right. Try. Where Sam's eyes. Comment below if you think we can get by on our looks. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this is us getting by on our look. Oh God! I have to ignore our look. No! <laughs> we really need to be careful for on this. When we get into certain parts of the country, you get in a Bible. <laughs> he wants them to think about demographics now. Right. For both. He's like, how am I supposed to sell this in Walmart? You think you can get into Walmart with that album? Broken Road is a good concept. Slightly confusing. I think, and the Brett part looks like a penis, but I guess that's by design. Problem is you have to be careful of, is it may never see a record store. So just for- Yeah, because of the music. <laughs> Not because of the cover. <laughs> have you ever heard a Brett Michaels song? No. <laughs> Would be. Do the impossible and get me into places I can't get into. <laughs> right. Shines. Walmart has to be convinced that they can sell 100,000 records <laughs> yeah. before they'll even talk to you. Thank you, Jess. Or do a VH1 show. So today's day. Just do yeah, a VH1 show. Yeah, right. Yeah, that is the better of the two. Right, and it's still not good. No. It would be good for my album. Awesome plan later today. <laughs> but uh, that's about it. I'd have notes for you, buddy. Uh, right. You wouldn't ask for Chris them. would be like, you know, what would be better than that? Everything. Yeah. It really means a lot to me. As you see, I take it very serious. But it's like the devil and the angel with the necklace. But it's like a girl with a beard next to a car. <laughs> what is this dress too? It's like in 50s, or I don't know what it is. I don't know fashion. That um, chose the winning album cover and made all the decisions that led us to victory. And Jess is getting the credit for it. It's just not fair. Jess really, she really didn't step up to the plate as creative director. Honestly, I can just, you can see in his eyes very clearly most times he has disdain for all of this. But right. was picked by me. If there's any girl who knows how to fight for a man, it is definitely Lacey. I promise I'm not really crazy. I, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I only <laughs> think you're mostly crazy. You're not completely. Uh, we don't believe you. We're done. We're safe. <laughs> it's really important to me to get some alone time with Brett because, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to show him the real me and all he really knows of me is what the other girls have been telling him. Okay, well, I'll let you get it. And the hours of footage. Right. All right, thanks, you. I'll see you in a few. The constant non-blinking eye that's on you. <laughs> Girl, I do. You can see what the unblinking is. eye. You in there talking about how you think you did everything? Um, no, I didn't. I just actually... They smoke a lot. Yeah. I, did, I mean, I just... I wasn't, like, dissing... Just literally described her and her group as like, we don't do this, we don't do that, we just sit around, drink, and smoke cigarettes. And ah. it's like, yeah, yes, you, yes, that's exactly who you are. I guess that's, that's the truth. Very self-aware. <clears throat> he needs to see it for himself. Oh my God. So then, yeah, the show turns into just I constant know. bitch fest. But I wanna see them like, not getting hurt in on motor sport bike things, but. But I do wanna see crashes. I, yeah. They don't have to get injured, but if it looked like they did, it'd be more interesting. Maybe they bungee jump and it's not quite... It's <laughs> crazy. I mean, I, I don't want that to happen, but no. I do want to see it. But, the, you know, the threat of it. Sure. His wig slips. No. <laughs> no, that'll never get through the executive production. I know. Wig slip, can't have it. Just, like, if my hat was up this high... Because <laughs> we got... Do you think that... <laughs> My dress Everyone would be like, no, Kyle Kyle doesn't have a wig on. No. Oh, natural. Yeah, it's very natural. Super blonde. Better, better. I feel like she's wearing strange things. Oh Here comes battle number one. Wow. All right, right. What is that? A Bentley? Yes. Bentley, I guess. It's a Bentley Continental GT. Whoa. Hot. So we do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. They could afford to rent that for an hour? Shotgun. Um. All right, thank you, Doc. How much is it to rent it for an hour? Five hundred dollars? 
No way! Yeah. Correct him. No, it's about 500 bucks. If we would want- She's topless again, which I don't have a problem with. I just don't want to uh, edit. It makes it harder for me to edit, believe right. it or not. Home alone. And I'm trying to look at them as people and not just- <laughs> <so> <laughs> Right. Logic. And someone else has to- Do you um, do something really rockin' for Brett? Mm-hmm. Show. Is it weird I like her more with the beard and the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is weird. It is. I mean, it's not wrong, but it's weird. Brandy and I decided to team up and reshoot this whole album cover to let Brett know that we can we can sell his, his album for him. We'll go against each other later on, okay? Yeah, we gotta work together. That's a selfless... Thank you for not zooming in on her boobs. Right. A uh, kind of a thing to do that's not... You know what the other thing is? They just don't have anyone else to war with. Right. It's just two of them in the, in the, or where's Mia? She's disappeared again. Sam got this front seat. Well, she'll get a one-on-one -on -one date. Oh, that's right. She's gonna be ahead of me. So today I'm Wow, look at this romantic dual date in the daytime on the side of the road. Oh, brewskis. When you did the album concept. Yeah, so the other girls get to go to four star restaurant on a Tuesday. <laughs> right. But if you think you're gonna marry a gypsy cowboy outlaw, mm -hmm. uh, these are the restaurants you're gonna go to. On the taxi motorcycle? Sure, this, yes. This is where you're going. Okay, well then you know what? He's being closer to real than not, right. which is hilarious. He is always no, I don't think the producer picked this. I think Brett's like, this is where I go. They're like, they're like uh, hey Brett, we set up another Tuesday night. A uh, nice place that we barely got into. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. We're going to Neptune's Net. We're going to rock. I need a beer and to be noticed. This is starting to worry me a little bit. Yes, sure. Water, but on that note, I got to go pee. Yeah, she just keeps talking about the other girls. Right. In the bathroom, taking herself an innocent piss. Sam just boom. Innocent piss. That's the name of my punk band. Would never be friends with Lacey. Just because I don't feel in my heart that she's genuine and I just don't and I never have and I never will. Who has more makeup on, him or her? To us, that him. she was very manipulative. I don't even think he's tan. <laughs> Almost like she's doing it to look for someone to argue with her. I want to believe that Brett sees right through her. Okay, you know, this actually the episode kind of does move along and there is enough yeah. to laugh about. Well, once once you get a small enough group, it starts to be interesting. But when they're all together and they're just da 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 da, it's, yeah, it's, it's not as good. Mundane, mindless. Side of her. Can you really. Who is she talking to right now? I can, look at me. Can you, oh. toss, can you no. toss that? So, what are you doing? Yeah, brat. No, I don't know. Come on, brat. The Sam and Lacey was very informative. However, it was not quite as sexy as I wanted it to be. So now I've got this. It's funny how she started off as like this goody girl where I'm not gonna dance, I'm not gonna lower myself or all that. And now she's, you know, while the other girl is taking a good piss, uh, she is right in his face and really getting into the right. nitty gritty of crap talking. Why you wanted to kill me? We're gonna take a ride on the bike. <laughs> Like, I'm not getting on that. Taxi motorcycle at least 20 years old. Like, do I pay you or how does this work? Ah, that's a cool looking bike. It's a shame about the color. We take off, right? Is that the song that the motorcycle is in? I don't even know. It only plays that. Right? <laughs> it just plays and drives around. Yeah. There's no way to get rid Is of it. that Brett Michael? I don't want people wondering if it's me. What? They need to know. They hear it coming. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> we lost this challenge. We decide that we're going to get a Polaroid camera and make up for our shoot and redo it all. I'm thinking we're going to have to. I don't know. I kind of like that. I think that shows um, some interest in him and more importantly to Brett, his music. His music is important because so many people want to hear it. Sexy, because that's what sells. And maybe the problem is that the album cover wasn't good enough done by the reality show that Just as a woman. <laughs> no one also cares about. Nobody thought about the Midwest. For why they were doing it, so I offered to them, hey, do you guys want me to take your picture? Oh, by the way, I was looking at, uh, just a, as a heads up, just we're talking about like demographics and stuff, I was looking at uh, our demographics. Mm -hmm. We recently hit 2,500 subscribers. Yellow. It even breaks down by like cities, uh -huh. you know. And uh, you know who is 0.1 percent in the city? The one of the lowest numbers, huh? Pittsburgh, PA. And then I think Boston is the next lowest one. So I think we really repel people on the East Coast. Ones. What's the biggest concentration of back to the sofa likers in this country? Uh huh. Los Angeles. Los Se Angeles. Second, New York City. 
New York City. That's right. So more like people like us. Right. So when you think about Back to the Sofa, what you think about is metropolitan sophistication. And that's who we're appealing to. Or maybe it's all the shut-ins in those towns that can't get out, and this is the only entertainment they have access to. Yeah, I like I like that. I like that energy from you. Uh, when Kyle talked about demographics, <laughs> come on, I declined on that. I it became apparent that hey, you know, these two girls obviously feel that it's my fault, and they were pretty much saying, "Fuck you, Mia." <laughs> like on the other episode, of like right. when she was eating out of nowhere. Why are they eating? Why do you need that? And they fully in sound. And you know, just holding on to him and stuff. It was just awesome. That's all he has to do is drive her around on that motorcycle. For guys like us, we'd have to like serenade them and take them to other than right. that. I took her to this beach restroom. <laughs> I revved my taxi motorcycle, wore my gypsy cowboy outlaw wig. It was so gross. She loved it. Yeah. So it becomes apparent that Brandy is... We kissed by a sewer pipe. They're doing okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Clearly, it's so... Clearly a bad idea. Again, really, really focused on yourselves right. when... Okay, never mind. I'm gonna stop being that creative guy. Perfect. That's not... Amateur porn at all. It's just a picture of a girl. It, there's no composition, there's no <laughs> thought, there's no way it connects to the content of the album. They are taking semi-pornographic pictures of themselves. I guess that's what happens when you leave two strippers home alone together. Randy and I decided we are gonna tape these Polaroids right on Brett's bedroom door. There's no way he'll- Yep, that's not weird. Sounds good. Guys love that. That's how you get guys. There's so much. Not by just being nice. <laughs> Try that. Oh. Warm. It wasn't just sexual, although it was. I never was frustrated or worried about the fact that you wouldn't get to know boys really. She, she seems like a, a, a genuine kind of cute hometown girl that is just gonna hit a train wreck, you know, in life with this stuff. Really couldn't get Go do something else. Better yeah, better. great idea. Because it, you seem like a good person, not for any other reason. That's a compliment. <laughs> why I feel the way I do about him. Get away from Brett Michaels. <laughs> water right there. Sticking out next to a syringe. <laughs> we got the suck face, which is always a good thing. And then, oh, back of my head though, I had this thought, I gotta get back for elimination. I need to speak. That poor driver. Well, I guess he's getting paid, but not enough. Just to wait while Brett Michaels makes out with his daughter's, daughter's friend. Yeah. And they rehearse lines and then say them over and over again. And right. All right. Ooh la la. What's a going on? <laughs> when I get home, there was these sexy, sex. That's how to get him to sleep with you. Yeah. Uh, which isn't a challenge. I mean, ha. Oh, then they put these on the album cover. They clearly. You're right. This show still has legs. I. Yeah. I didn't think it would, and I'm. I'm entertained for all the right reasons. Five minutes. While I'm staring at these sexy pictures, Mia all of a sudden pops up at elimination time and wants to have this deep conversation with me, right? I need to talk crap about everyone real quick. Let's go. And I'm thinking, why are you waiting till now to get with me? Because she's phasing in and out of existence. She hardly matters. Out of the sexy six and someone's going home. The sexy six. <laughs> Who told him to say that? She's like, um, in Back to the Future, you know, when the kids are disappearing? Yeah, <laughs> right. She's like that the whole time. I'll see you at dinner. Let everyone know dinner immediately. I was bummed about it, because I'm like, okay, here I am, you know, totally, like, pretty much making an ass of myself. And I just feel like he really didn't care. He blew her off. Yeah. <laughs> she's gone. She's halfway hammered at this point anyway, too. You can, she's, like, slurring. They're one of the best, <laughs> awesomest group, the Sexy Six. Yeah. Brett decides that he wants to have a love And the Foxy Five. <sighs> I have a problem with the way that- And the 44? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not that old. To that. Lacey is just getting on my last nerve. I can't stand the animal rights shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make some changes in my life. I can't take it anymore. My head is killing me. I just throw my napkin down. It's it's from all the booze. It's not Lacey directly. Lay down in the bedroom. Brandy gets up and leaves and goes into the other room saying that she has a headache. I just don't- yeah, we just heard her said that. I just don't see Brandy really being here for any other reason but TV. No. At all, like not even trying to kind of fake it. 
But she's she keeps going. Actually, I'm a musician, so I know about this. Actually, I'm a musician, so I know about this. Blah blah. blah. Oh no no, Brandy, not not uh, had, not, um, is hated by every girl in that house. Their Lacey, name, Lacey. Their names don't matter. No, that one. Green. That one. Green. True, and then she's being fake. She openly admitted to us that she was very manipulative. And, and I'm thinking I'm starting to notice some of this myself pretty hardcore now. Are you? I don't. The producer literally told him to say that. Can you for tonight, just for now? He has like. Till I get through this thing and go back. <laughs> he has like earpieces and stuff in his wig. I know. That's, uh, that's why. To... That's why the wig, so that it could be a little thing that hangs down. Tell him what to say. You, you take off that thing and it's all like circuitry from VH1. To... <laughs> circuitry. Maybe she is truly crazy. I got a hell of a decision on my. My yeah. outlaw circuits are tingling. <laughs> <laughs> no, she must sleep with horror. <laughs> They're not horse. So no. <laughs> Take that out. It is uh, time for elimination. There will be no one-on-one -on -one tonight. This was it. Ah. So I suggest you get ready and we'll see you at the elimination. <laughs> now she's... <laughs> I'm like I'm getting another door shut in my face. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah. And for God's sake, wear a shirt. Picking that shirt. Jesus. What is that? She doesn't have enough... Uh, All right. So the elimination cloth. tonight... I've got no. Girls, sexy six. I've got five passes. I've got a lot to think about because someone's going home tonight. Let's sell some commercial time. Okay. Uh, I would bet money on Mia if we're going with who's the most boring, forgettable, and non-existent. I'm also gonna go with Mia, although I wish uh, red hair was going home already. Lacey, yeah. I'm just tired of it. It, it, it gets old, it gets the shtick of her yeah. kind of, I'm gonna destroy everyone every, it's like pinky in the brain. Yeah. You know, if you don't do it every time, then it, who cares? Towards Lacey. And she does not look like she's there at all. But I'm hoping people realize how evil. She has thinking, the craziest eyes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, <laughs> get drunk and smoke cigarettes? <laughs> No, you idiot. Destroy everyone else. What is oh. this? Hello, everybody. Hi. Is that a glossy snake girl skin? Is something? this a gypsy cowboy outlaw? For me, so I'm just gonna get right down to it. All right, yep. Give me the pass. He's, but don't let anyone else see. <laughs> They're 20 feet away. I <laughs> uh, was gonna be going home pretty early, and I just had this strange feeling that there was something there that was great. Jess, would you come down here, please? Jess is the first one to get a pass, and I'm a little irritated by that. I really felt like I should have gotten a solo date. I want to destroy her, but I don't know how to do it <laughs> right. the fastest. <laughs> I want to plot evil schemes, but I'm not that smart. This girl was so... So I just do evil ones? Of Jess. I Hopefully she walks near the pool again. Right. Would you come down here, please? Again, Heather, I, I think she's uh, beautiful and all that, but I don't like her hair all crazy and yeah, you know, I never like this, it like that. Yeah, I think she so, she has so much more with showing less. In the beginning, you know we have a connection, so yeah. just bring it. All right, all right? Okay. Will you stay here and rock my world. Oh yeah. All right, <laughs> rock on. <laughs> she seems like she'd be a good mom. Is that weird? Yeah. Someone who right from the beginning. Well, I'm not saying that about Lacey or. And then during the middle, we hit a pre well area that was kind. I mean, of the weird selection here. So someone who. Well, it's not really part of the selection process. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> you're saying would you come? I'm gonna want a lot. I'm gonna want to know a lot more before I start <laughs> pinning that tail on that donkey. I'm saying in a in a, a post-apocalyptic world, if this was your selection. Oh yeah, probably her. Yeah, right. Yes. She could defend her cubs and right, right. care for them. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be Mia. And it wouldn't <laughs> no. be red hair dye. No. This is someone who, right from the get-go, uh, had a very beaming personality. I think lately has been feeling pretty beat up and is trying best as they can to hold on by a thread. You're going to keep Mia? No, no, it's uh, Brandy. Yes. One more night of drinking. Yes. Me, 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 me. Well, drinking for fun. Free. I should probably drink for free every day. Oh, you're right. Yes, I would. Awesome. Buy me a jink. <laughs> yeah, all right. Me and Lacey, one access pass left, and if she goes, then I'll be happy, then I'll really know where Brett's head is. But if I go, then it's sad when I know that like I'm a real person and I'm here for the real reason. Okay, we get it. Yeah, okay. I'm tired of you talking as soon as you start talking. Right. Lacey, I just want to say, I know that you are 
absolutely crazy according to what everybody says here. Look at her eyes. And with Mia, I know I feel a connection to you. Unfortunately, she's human Benadryl. She just falls I know. Too little, too late. So Lacey, would you come down here, please? I played the game my way for all the right reasons. What? What is the right <laughs> reason to play the get a date with Brett Michael? And as we had to talk about our mediocrity today and how much I just The best way to play the game is is not to play. Do it and being creative artists. Was What's that from? Yeah. I just want you to Nerd. That. <laughs> that I Wait a minute, where are the nerds for knowing it? Oh yeah. Right, You're crazy for me. Um, lets me know where you stand. <laughs> that you're crazy for me lets me know where you stand. Right. Makes sense. All right. He was in Poison. That's an edgy, I can't even say it with a straight face. No. He was in Poison, so he likes crazy people. He needs someone to distract from his jacket. And you gotta be crazy for that. Tonight you look You need someone who his jacket won't outshine. Right, with crazy eyes. Like, that just stands next to you and you're like, what's up with this? Oh, whoa, what's up with her? <laughs> right, exactly. Lacey's one of the most downright malicious people I've ever met in my life. Have those girls stay if that's what you want. Bring them home to your family, see what they think, Lacey or Mia. Why do you think she's on the show? She's going nowhere near anyone he remotely cares about. And she'll have a better life for it. Oh, he like touches her butt at the end there. I know, like, that's yeah. pretty slick. Go on, girl. Yeah. She just didn't bring it. Come to a Poison concert. <laughs> Please buy my shirt. <laughs> she might be crazy, but I know one thing. I dig her and she fights for her man. I like that. She fights to fight. The producer tells her to say that she fights for her man. Okay, Brett, now say it. Because she fights for her man. Right, okay, we'll put that in the show. Okay, good, thank you. Brett's Bruce. We're dearly departed and to the new Fab Five. Dearly departed. How come Big Steve or whatever his name gets to have one? He didn't even do anything. Uh, we thought there was not much life left, but it's actually turning out to be pretty fun. Rock of love. It's great. And for people on Patreon, thank you for supporting us. Uh, free account or paid, whatever. It's really cool because um, you can only see stuff like Reality Bites Back or other shows that just YouTube will not allow on no matter how many re-edits or, but you guys are supporting it, really appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for checking out Patreon exclusives, YouTube members, all my great pointing dancing that I learned from Corey Feldman. Thanks for coming back, I'll see you next time. We didn't practice this. Hey, look how good we are. <laughs>